Hello guys, just wanted to share with you the latest status of the AeroQuad Autopilot. My test setup is right here. As you can see, I have a RC truck uh, set up with a AeroQuad 32 board in its case, a uh, GPS and an open LRS receiver. What I like about this setup is that uh, there's only three components for the Autopilot. You don't need an extra modem or anything like that. What we do is we take our uh, telemetry data send it out a serial link and feed it into the open LRS receiver and then on my uh, ground station here I can receive that telemetry data and show it on my uh, screen so here I have a tablet or in the future it could be a uh, laptop if you wish uh, what I really like about this setup here this uh, ground control setup it's, it's self-contained it's all-in-one all, all self-powered I have a long-range transmitter the open LRS NG and also I've uh, implemented these physical sticks so you could have uh, very fine control that you need for a multi-copter uh, at your fingertips. I tried to uh, implement this with just um, uh, like virtual uh, joysticks on a tablet and uh, you know I'm thinking about even on a smartphone application but I really don't think you get enough uh, detail or, or resolution you know uh, when, when you're flying a multi-copter. Those things are so uh, can be very dangerous and uh, I think you need something physical like like joysticks really to have adequate control over it. So again with uh, this uh, communicator application I've written um, because though uh, it's important to keep everything as easy and clear for you to see I made nice big buttons with really easy and clear indicators to, to see what's going on with your flight control board. I'll turn on the autopilot here and off she goes. Let's watch her uh, follow the route. I have a simultaneous screen capture going on, so I'll flip back and forth so you can see how well it follows the route. And it's nice and easy. And for the last waypoint, once it reaches it, all I have it do is uh, cut the throttle. But uh, in the future revision, we're going to put it in a uh, position hold or something similar. So yeah, uh, there it goes. Let me um, just upload another route really quick. And for you to upload a new route, it's very easy. All you do is hit the clear route button to uh, start over. And I'll hit the, the edit waypoints button. And we'll go ahead and put a waypoint right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And you just hit the upload waypoint button. And the route is uploaded to the AeroQuad. And then you hit the go button, the autopilot button. And there it goes. So I got a big truck on the way. Let's see who wins. <laughs> There's another car there too. <laughs> yeah, I got the right away. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to uh, program the autopilot and uh, work pretty hard on this algorithm. And it will follow that white line. If the wind blows it off course, the uh, it'll it'll uh, do its darnest to get back onto the white line and follow that route exactly. All right, there you go. All right, so I will. Uh, next step is to get this flying in the air. There's just a few adjustments to make, but I think we're pretty close. Thanks for watching.